You might have heard the headlines. Apple's new 12.9 inch iPad Pro will not work with the initial Magic Keyboard. But what if I tell you that's not completely true? If you are considering buying the iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard or are interested in this topic, I would highly recommend you to watch this video till the end because I think I might have some important information. Okay, so the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro is 0.5mm thicker than the older iPad Pro, which has brought up this issue in everyone's mind in the first place. But the thing is, many people use Pitaka cases, which are compatible with the Magic Keyboard and are 0.7mm thick, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. And some people also tried adding artificial width by adding paper to the iPad Pro, and it still did work with the Magic Keyboard. So basically, from what I can tell that Apple's old Magic Keyboard will still work with the newer one, but it will just be a better fit if you buy the newer one. Another thing that made people believe this is that Apple's website only says Magic Keyboard for 12.9 inch iPad Pro 5th generation. But the thing is, on the bottom of the page, they also have mentioned that it will work with the 3rd and 4th generation. So I don't think that's an issue. But something that I noticed myself is that the new iPad Pro is 41 grams heavier than the previous one, which is a considerable amount. So does that mean that Apple has made the Magic Keyboard a bit heavier or at least the base of the Magic Keyboard heavier? Because I think that's a good possibility that Apple has done that. And maybe if you use it on the older Magic Keyboard, it might just tip over. I'm seeing people complaining about the Magic Keyboard, the older Magic Keyboard not working with the new iPad, but if Apple didn't put many LED in it, you would still be complaining about the lack of it. Basically, the conclusion is that I'd recommend you buy a new iPad to try with your old Magic Keyboard. And in case it doesn't work, I think it should, but just in case it doesn't, then you can either buy the new Magic Keyboard or return the new iPad back to Apple in case you don't want to spend that extra $350 again. But in my opinion, the old Magic Keyboard should work perfectly fine with the new iPad and the newer one just has a little bit more thickness to it so that it'll have a better fit. Another option is you can wait for the YouTubers to review the new iPad Pro like Marquez Brownlee will have his review coming out and he'll probably show that the Magic Keyboard, the older one, works with the newer one. So yeah, that should come around the pre-order day, but I think the new mini, mini LED iPads are going to be very low in stock, so you might have to press that order button as soon as possible and maybe you wouldn't have the chance to actually watch the YouTube reviews, in which case you'll have to follow what I said which is buying the iPad and trying it, uh, trying it out with your older one. And I think it should still work, like I said earlier. That's basically it. I hope you found the answer to your question. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And definitely consider subscribing.